so everyone's favorite director, writer, wannabe black guy, Mr. Black Exploitation, <laughs> uh, Quentin Tarantino came out with a new movie. Oh, called Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. His name is Quentin. What did I say? Quentin? No. For for some reason. I That's Italian. It was... Quentin's Italian. I know what you're gonna say. That's not well. I that thought you were gonna say it's a black name. No. Oh okay. <laughs> I, for some reason in the but last twenty wrong, minutes, though. I thought his name was Trenton. <laughs> Hence Trenton, Trenton on the board. Trenton. Hence Trenton. Hence Trenton. That's, why That's like the black version of Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. Like he was sitting there with the pen cap and all like me, yeah, I'm Trenton, the black man. version of Quentin Tarantino. <laughs> probably, Trenton I, Tarantino. I probably I probably should have kept that to myself. But <laughs> he said Quentin, he was like, Quint- eh, Trenton? Oh, all right. <laughs> Trenton. Where's that? Trenton. Trenton. It just, Trent or Trenton. Like we're in it in a tin or ton. What name? <laughs> Quinn, Quinn, Quinn. No. Yo, one I can't wait to turn like <laughs> for, like over like 45 so I can start fucking up names. Purpose. Oh, purpose. purpose. Oh, purpose. purpose. Like on some Ron Swanson shit. <laughs> Word. Billy? <laughs> Word. <laughs> All right, Greg. <laughs> See you later, Scott. <laughs> um, <laughs> so he came up with a new movie called um, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And the two top names is Brad Pitt and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. So. Mm-hmm. You know, you got to go see it. It's about some stunt man or whatever. Mm. But blah, 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 blah. in his past movies, he loves the N-word. I'm mm. just going to go straight to it. Nigga, nigger, mm. nigga, nigga, and whatever. <laughs> Negroid, Negro. He Word. loves using he loves using the N-word. And I saw someone um, um, online, and I'm not sure how true it is, that he didn't use it as much or at all in this movie. Mm. Because so I feel like as it would, much or at all. I feel like you wouldn't need to. It's not about that. Sounds no, but you haven't seen it. It could be black people in there, and he could see the so, thing but, is. But, but here's the my thing, thing is, if there's like a few people, a few black people sprinkled in there, like oh, see, why? you don't know Tarantino. He takes any chance to do it. They really? can be in a scene for 15 minutes. In 13 and a half of those minutes, they say, nigga, I'm not yeah. playing with you. Just some, just some extra. They driving by. I'll do it. Nigga. Yeah. 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 You, you laughing. <laughs> you fucking laughing. Really? But are you, you a fan of Tarantino? I wouldn't say I'm a fan of Tarantino, but I do enjoy his movies. Nah, he, he's a, he's yeah, a great film. His movies are good. Mm-hmm. Great, actually. Yeah, I, yeah. No, no, real talk. But he always finds a way to slip nigga right on in there. Word. Boy. But and I, like it, but it, it was qu- so funny like when qu- Django came out. But the question is, are you mad at it? No, no, no. I'm not mad at it. But why <laughs> do we? But why do we give him a pass though? Why do we give him a why pass for what? For yeah. for using it like that. Like does he, I under okay? I understand he he's a film. No, he writes and directs everything he does. Okay. Mm-hmm. Understand, um, he's a filmmaker and you need to write things to fit scenes. I fully understand mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. But sometimes you feel like. It becomes excessive. Like you mm. see certain scenes, like you didn't have to use nigga there. Word. You did, mm. but you didn't. Ha- you, you get what I'm saying? And right, right. and there's evidence of him wanting to be black. Mm. Like he loves our culture. Yeah, he'll never deny it. Yeah, and he, he code switches a lot. Oh yeah, big time. When he's around us, he, there's a little bit of twang. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to his shit. I actually uh, recently saw that. Word. Yeah, like um, but that shit on one of six apart. But yeah. even even like movies like Django, did you feel like nigga was excessive in Django, especially like for the for what it was? I felt like it w- It just had like a comic kind of yeah. twist to it. So it wasn't mm. something that I took offensively in it. Right. So. Agreed. And, and that's why yeah, he's such a, a different. Yeah, he, he could I, play around with it. Exactly. It was, it was, exactly. And I mean, to be honest, man. No. How fun was it? Oh, no. No, no, how how fun was it watching Jamie Foxx in that funny ass suit? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whipping that white dude. Word. No, okay. The slave owner. Like, you, you think that I'm trash in the movie? Like, so, came but, to my but eyes, I guess, bro. I guess oh, the point oh, I'm trying to make God. is like, if you just went into it without like any kind of expectations cinema, or cinema goals or uh, premeditated hatred <laughs> or anything like that, like you can enjoy it for what it is. No, and I agree with you. I, I wasn't. I, I, wasn't I, I didn't have an issue with it because it's like. Hey, Samuel Jackson been fucking with him. So <laughs> yeah, Samuel <laughs> Jackson's fucking like he's Man. in the majority. I think. I feel like Samuel said he, nigga made, he wrote and directed 10, <laughs> ten <laughs> films. I think Sam Jackson, like five of them, right? Or four? <laughs> 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 but the, like the thing is, the thing is, it's just like, I don't know, just, you know, being a a woke black person as they no, call you're me, right. a hotel. Yeah, no, but I you, would just be you, watching you a hotel? like, no, no, I'm not a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> like you just be watching like, damn, did you have to say nigga there? Django, like it's such a joke. Mm. When he came out with Django, it's like, oh, he's gonna 
back in the the, the, the garbage truck and pour the nigga out. Yeah. Because he has reason to. It's a slave movie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I believe, Even in Django, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Which and was I, crazy. Well, and, I, and I believe they said nigga that much back then. Oh, absolutely. Oh, no, they said nigga. Nigger. 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 They said Nigger. they had the hard on you. Oh, yeah. Every every variation. Then. The, the anything, <laughs> Jigaboo, everything. Yeah, Jigaboo, Nigger, oh, Moon Cricket, Porch, Porch Monkey. monkey. Hey, oh, can I God. say? All of that. Can I say? Moon Cricket is the funniest one. Can I? Say That's just that? hilarious. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Maybe it's because we don't hear that. One you know, it's often. very indicative on how racist motherfuckers are. How Look. racist are you that you have to tap in your t- into your creativity to be racist? That's terrible. You Ooh. gotta come with cricket even mean. Ooh. Because it's nighttime and I don't know. I don't know. It's something. Moon cricket. It's Moon something. Cricket. I'm sure like, if you Google the the, the I feel like the if, if, if the white boy knew how much Moon Cricket would make me laugh, he wouldn't have made it up. Exactly. Because <laughs> everything they invented back then was used to harm. Mm-hmm. Used to hurt you in some way. Yo. Moon cricket. Oh, look at it up. Black people that come out at night to raise hell and make a lot of noise like <laughs> Holy shit! Moon Cricket's a black like, slave because in the old days. Well, I have a I have a confession. Oh. Oh, I have no. a confession. Well, here's here's a here's a I'm definition. A moon cricket. <laughs> here's a definition. I am definitely. Here's a definitely moon cricket. And hey, look, listen like, to this definition. Bro, <laughs> there's a lot of moon crickets out here. Damn. Damn. <laughs> it says a moon cricket is a black slave. In the old days, because black slaves used to go outside at night and sing to the moon, that's how they got the name Moon Cricket. Both of those make sense. That's, that's, uh, that makes sense. Both it's of those make yeah. sense. When we were slavery, we go singing to the Lord save us. And when we were free, <laughs> Bro. we cussing them crackers and causing a, ruck, a ruckus. <laughs> so both of them make sense. <laughs> Holy shit. But, but, I um, learned something today. But really? like you said, like, like you said, the thing with Tarantino is he's such a great filmmaker. Like... He could have said nigga a hundred times in each film, and I would have noticed because the movie's so fucking good. Because here's, yeah. here's the thing. It's a give and take. He was in the movie. Mm-hmm. His, his character, he said nigga, but he also blew up. Yeah, he yeah. does it on so, purpose. So it's like... He does that on purpose. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he does it on purpose. Like, he'll kill himself Almost in like every... Word. Yeah, exactly. And nobody can make blood fly like Tarantino movies. Nah, it's different. Like, mm. It's so... <laughs> like, you get shot... That violent, you that get violent shot with a Coke 45 or some shit, and, like, his whole back blow out, just... <laughs> yeah, it's like... It, it looks like Super Soaker, just <laughs> fucking <laughs> blood. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's like somebody put an M80 Word. in a can of tomato paste or something. <laughs> <laughs> and it's... <laughs> yeah, the violence is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, yes, but the film itself is so good. And the good. sound effects are hilarious, too. It's like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Niggas get hit by a car. <laughs> yeah. Word. But I feel like Trent... Wow. <laughs> Trenton. 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 Move the cup from him, though. Trenton. Where's him? 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 Quinton. Question. Where's him? Where's him? Where's him? Where's him? Block of Zulu, aka Wim. <laughs> aka Wim Niam Day. Yo, this nigga is. Hey, you got to edit this shit. This nigga hey. is saucy. Hey. Hey. No, <laughs> no, I'm I'm introducing I'm introducing a new aka nigga. I'm introducing. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, me no. too. No. I thought you had to reboot. No, he's no, you thought you thought was <laughs> Zulu. Block of Zulu, eh? Hey. Y'all ain't no, 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 it's jokes, because of man. how you did it. You was man. like, hey. Y'all fucked it up, Zulu. I was like, oh, you starting over. <laughs> it, was a, it, was, it was a revelation. Y'all <laughs> fucked it up, man. Yeah. Let that man, let, bro, let that man, man. cook. Bro. They stay. They, they, nah, they, I'm they, editing, nigga. Let that man cook. These niggas stay <laughs> fucking up my punchlines, bro. <laughs> hey, this could be a short. Word. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Word, new, no, it's not. New, uh, new, new AKA. Wham name. <laughs> Wham name there. Like Wham name. Wham name there. AKA Quinton. AKA Wait, Trent. Don, AKA <laughs> Trent. AKA Quinn. <laughs> AKA, do you, do you to make the movie there? The man the man <laughs> said, nigga. Oh, no. <laughs> so, so Lyndon can't quit. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> One big thing about Quentin to the movies, I know you appreciate, is the music. Absolutely. His scores are like Absolutely. Spotify playlists. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. Because like um usually people have like actual um 
Like orchestras. Orchestras, yeah. I'm about mm. to say choirs. Orchestras <laughs> that choirs produce too. scores. He was like, he scrolled through his um his fucking iPad or something like, oh, this is go great in this oh, scene. Yeah. No, I feel like it wasn't um Except when it calls for like the Hateful Eight, you couldn't do that. Word mm-hmm. for Ava Wade needed a score. That was different for a hundred black coffins. Was that a song Rick Ross had before? Because I feel no, he made that he song. Made no, it, no, it's, a, it's it. a soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a hundred. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. So it wasn't no like I'm gonna just pick a song. He had niggas. No, come he gets in. a main. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And there goes that black. Bro, didn't he have the RZA again. do some shit for Kill Bill or no? Oh, I'm, I'm sure he did, yeah. bro. And was, there goes that black influence. I was in the theater when when that song started playing. I thought I was tripping, bro. I was just like. Is that Ross? <laughs> Is that Ross or Terrence? Did you know, Miami make it? You know, Are we I, here, nigga? Yeah, like, what? And it sounded hard. Yes, bro. Yeah, yeah. Yes, man. When I, what, what, what I thought <laughs> initially, I was just like, oh, shit. Somebody, like, fucked up, played that shit over the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I gave a nigga the ox. Word. Because you don't see that shit often. Bro, and, and two seconds later, I was just like, this is a part of the movie. This is a part of the movie. And I'm listening movie. to the lyrics, and I'm like, this is a part of the movie. I'm scrambling for my phone. What, what, what Word. song is that? Word. <laughs> Word. Word. No, your horse carriage. So, I mean, I guess two reasons. One, he makes great films, and two... He makes great films, so I guess that's why yeah. we. And of course, he's never he's never said it maliciously. He's never said the n word maliciously. It's just those little interviews when he tries to like Go, speak right. in ebonics and right. slang. I'm like, oh, you don't have to, dog. Yeah, you cool. But, but you I was, you don't have to do it, shit it for us. It makes me cringe. <laughs> but a I, bit. but he probably has a good personal relationship one on one. Maybe he's not good. Like not everyone is good on like. Publicly, not everyone is good on these okay, I get media you. outlets. Like he, he might have a good personal relationship or good working relationship with everyone that he works with, and that's maybe he has a genuine way of going about things. No, so no, I feel that that's it probably shows, why he gets the pass because like he's got a, a lot of other people vouching for him, well-known True. black people in the industry. So True. do you feel like black actors the pass for him saying nigga in his movies mm-hmm. is valid? Do you feel like it is? No, no, no. Of course. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he's doing it as a film writer. If he was some random guy just saying nigger, like, obviously it's okay different, though? but... I mean, he's not the first. No, of course. No, yeah, that's another first. thing. We he's can't not. condemn he him like that. He's not the first. For it. Mm. Yeah, because he's, he's he's so grandiose with his films. Mm. Right. But it fits the script. I understand. There are a couple instances where you, you're like... You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. as a black person. Yeah. But if you're watching as a filmmaker, as a as a But you go down the block and say fan, nigga two hundred times. Mm. Exactly. If you're watching as a <laughs> film, as a fan of film, you're like, it fits. Word. It has to be there. But then I'll I'll give him this though. He he has like the finger on like the pulp because like black people love his movies. Oh, absolutely. Right. Like Pulp Fiction, Django, um Jackie In- Brown, Inglorious Bastard. Yeah, bro. He had, mm-hmm. first of all, he has couple where white supremacists are just being murdered, bro. Yes, yeah, I'm like yeah. And then Glorious nah. Bastards is for is for Jewish people. Right. He he. Oh, he does Word. fan service very well. Word.